be making the squad. What's good? It's your boy Cheese. So Saturday, July 15th. Um, and yeah. It's the great mystery of beat making three today. I'm not going, you know, I'm not I'm not going to dwell on a negative because I never do that. That that's 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 you know, that's that's not for me. What I am gonna do is well, first of all, let me let me create the scene for you. <laughs> so I done been on the train for like two hours to get to this job today, and right now there's nobody here, like the kids aren't here. Um, so like I'm here like yo, bossin, forget that. So get paid, so hey, I'm gonna get you know, get some beats done or whatever. Yo, I had this L sample to beat make a two folder. I want to chop it up and beat nigga three. And I, I'm very sorry to y'all that's out there waiting on it and, and, and it's not here. Anyway, I don't have Wi-Fi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out a way to get this audio from Beatmaker 2 to Beatmaker 3. And I know it ain't that hard. Like, it can't be that difficult. So I'm going to figure it out, but we're going to go through it together. All right? And uh, we're going to turn this negative into a positive. And this will be a tutorial for y'all to uh, check, you know, when everything gets up and running. All right? All right, so first things first, let's uh, load up Beatmaker 3. Okay. And let's just uh, start a new session. And let's open up a plugin. Right here. And we want an inner app audio plugin, which will be Beatmaker 2, which is that. Okay, you see the Ableton link comes up, uh, which basically tells you you can link them. Of course, you can't follow the instrument because I gotta load it for you. All right, let's check this up. We make it two. Uh, your last auto save. So, in my last auto save, basically, what I have is I have this sample right here that I want to. Uh, route into Beatmaker 3. First thing you want to do is go back into Beatmaker 3 and select the pad. Go uh, once you select the pad, hit these three dots right here. Go to MIDI setup. Okay, now you want to adjust that MIDI output. So just choose Beatmaker 2, go back, and then choose channel 1, go back. Okay, uh, yeah, we're good for now. So in Beatmaker 2, we already have the, the sample, everything laid out on this pad. Now what we need to do is adjust the MIDI. So go, let me, sorry, let me go back and do that again. So press the home key, press the MIDI key, okay? Now mine is already set up, but so it's set up to receive MIDI on channel one and output MIDI on no channels. Because what happens when I had, I had originally I had it on channel one, I ended up with a MIDI feedback loop. Um, but once I turned it to none, it was fine, okay? So, um, so now we're going to just go back into Beatmaker 3, okay, so I have my little radio set up right here, where is it, there it is, alright, so let's, uh, so as you can see, this is note C3, and the sample was on the first pad, which is C-2, so I have to drop the octave quite a bit, so there we go. All right, so now we're gonna see negative two. So when I hit this key, uh, the sample should play. There it goes. The only issue is that the audio is not being routed. So, um, yeah, normally the audio would be coming up through here. I'm gonna see what I can do. I'll get right back to this. All right, so I'm back. I had to actually restart my iPad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this threshold down to zero and when I, and I'm gonna hit start right here. So basically what that does is it tells the sampler to start sampling whenever any sound comes in that is above that blue arrow. As I drop it all the way to the bottom because the sample itself starts off really low. Uh, so I'm just gonna hit C2 here. And as you can see, it's recording. So it's recording the audio from Beatmaker 2 into Beatmaker 3, which will allow me to do, you know, just a little bit more because Beatmaker 3 has a few more options. All right, so, okay, so the sample just finished recording. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hit the recording button. So it'll just stop. Okay, um, I'm gonna press this here. Okay, now actually wait, let's take a look at something else. Something I could have done. Now see right here it says destination pad. What you could actually do is you can actually have the, uh, you can have the sampler, sample it and place it on whatever pad you want it to place it on. So I had it on pad one because 
I, I just left it there, but I could have placed it on pad two, so I could basically use, uh, keep using Beatmaker 2 as a uh, sample source. So right now, I'm gonna close this, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unload the plugin because I don't need the plugin anymore, so sorry about that. Okay, so now there's no plugin there. Okay, so actually what I'll do here as well is I'm just gonna close Beatmaker 2, okay? Close Beatmaker 2. So now here's the sampler, and you can see the sample is right there. Let's hit edit, so we can hear the sample. As you can hear, the sample is in Beatmaker 3. Um, did not import it. I did it the old fashioned way. I taped it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope this is beneficial to you and I hope that it, you know, that it works out for you. And that whenever Beatmaker 3 does drop, that you can use this tutorial. All right, y'all. Peace.